Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the F-16C. It is early June 2020 and we've just had added in the F-16 the ability to add waypoints from within the cockpit. Until now, it's all been in the mission editor. We are here. We do have one waypoint, waypoint one there. I want to add into my flight plan another couple of waypoints. Waypoint two, Manston there. And then I want to add waypoint three, which is going to be a theoretical waypoint that came from a fake JTAC, which will be a target there. And we can go and drop a bomb there. Okay. So all we do to find the lat long and altitude information for the waypoint, come into the F10 menu here, zoom on your target. Put your cursor over the area that you want to get the waypoint from. Look at the top left and you can see you've got degrees, minutes, seconds. Now that is not the way that the F-16 is going to take the data. Its default way of taking coordinates is going to be three digit decimal minutes. So to get to that left old and Yankee, and that moves to whatever that is, left old Yankee again. And we are now in three digit decimal minutes. You can see two digits for degrees, two digits for minutes, and then three digits for decimal minutes. And out of interest, there are other various ones that you can use, but let's just get back to three digit decimal minutes. So look at the top left there, look at the altitude as well, 161 feet, and note that in your notepad. Next, let's go to the target, which a JTAC has mysteriously told me where it is. I'm gonna hover the mouse cursor over there and note the northing and easting as well and the altitude that's how we get our information at the moment back in the cockpit let's go and plug this data in very simple on the ufc we're going to go number four steer point we are going to select the steer point where we want to add with the incrementer here currently it's steer point one we want to add number two out of interest i want to add auto instead of manual here so we can update the waypoints as we fly automatically and i'll do that with a sequence okay now the dobber down to change the northing so I'm going to type 2 for northing and then I'm going to type the number in of Manston northing which was 5 1 2 0 5 1 8 in 3 digit decimal minutes enter dobber down to the easting this part of the world we're going to have easting and northing obviously east and then because it's an easting obviously the degrees is in 3 digits it's just a ge geographical fact so it's going to be, I'm going to add an extra zero onto the beginning. Zero, zero, one, two, zero, seven, five, nine. Enter. Now we need the altitude. Dobber down. Altitude, one, six, one, ASL. Enter. That's that one done. Let's go to the next one. So increment waypoint to waypoint three. Up to the top. Northing. And this is going to be the target where the JTAC gave me the information about the target. It's going to be northing. Five, one, two, two, zero, one, eight. Enter, double down. Easting, add a zero at the beginning, plus three digit. Uh, zero, one, one, five, six, five, five. Enter, double down. Altitude, I got nine feet. Enter. Okay, that's it all done. I'm just going to go back to basic navigation. So, return here. Currently, we've got waypoint three selected there. So, I'm going to go back to waypoint one because we're going to fly our complete flight path. Uh, next, we're going to go to our HSD, and we can see if we zoom in now, currently got waypoint one selected, which you know from the solid dot there. Waypoint two has been added now, which is on Manston there. Waypoint three has been added there, which is the target. If I wanted, I could select waypoint three and go straight to it by going increment to waypoint three. Waypoint three is now selected, and I would get guidance to waypoint three. But I want to comply my complete chain. Whoops, wrong way. Fly my complete chain, so we're back to waypoint one. Let's go and fly the waypoints. I'm going to get to waypoint one here. Pretty much there. And I'm going to get to waypoint two. Waypoint two is just going to be over that runway there, as we can see. And just ahead of time, I'm actually going to select waypoint three. So waypoint three is there. Right, so let's just go and set our weapons up. Air to ground. I'm going to go to CCRP. Some pause. Going to waypoint three. Let's go and fly it and try and drop the bomb. Bomb away, bomb out of the way, bomb goes down. Ah, I'm actually hit. <laughs> I did hit. Beautiful. All fun and games, but we showed you there how we can add waypoints into the flight plan, how we can select one of those waypoints and go and drop a bomb with CCRP. I hope that was useful and see you later.